Hi guys! Okay, so I just finished this like galaxy alien lady, whatever look. Um, so here's the video. If you want to find out how to do this, stay tuned, watch this. Let me know what you think. Let me know what else you want to see. Like, subscribe, etc. Thank you. Okay, so here I'm just painting everything black and I talked through the whole video because I didn't know it was going to take as long as it did, so I'm just going to fast forward it and just do a voiceover so that you guys don't have to sit through, you know, an hour long video on this one look because that's super boring and I don't know anybody who wants to listen to me talk for an hour. So anyways, I'm just painting everything black, just keep going back and forth with the water and the paint, um, basically so you get everything blacked out. And this is the part that takes the longest, um, just because it takes a long time to get it to look even. I don't know why, it just does. And so, after you get everything on, all the black, just, just get it on. Just get it all on there, you know. Uh, you can go back in because it's gonna, you'll see it'll be like really sloppy looking. And you'll just have to go back in with like a sponge, as I'm doing now. And, um, just go back on with more paint and more, there I'm singing, beautiful, um, more paint and just kind of dab it and swirl it and tap it and whatever you need to do to get it to just look, you know, flat. It's a lot easier when you're doing, under, doing it on your face because you're used to doing makeup on your face and it's just something that you do, you know, but, um, when you're painting your chest and stuff, like, it's also a lot easier to do on another person. When you're doing it on yourself, you can't, like, I can't see the bottom of my neck, I can't see any of my neck. I can barely see, you know, below my collarbone, so, uh, it's just one of those things. You just have to keep going and keep layering, which is why this took so long. Anything, anytime I do any type of videos painting my neck or anything, it always takes way longer than I think it's going to. But, uh, yeah, just keep layering it on. Just layer it on until everything's blacked out. And then for this look, it doesn't need to look like completely perfect because of what, like we're going to be putting a lot of stuff on top of it. Uh, if you were just trying to look completely like pitch black for some reason, um, you would obviously have to spend a lot more time making sure that it gets right or just Photoshop it if you want to take the easy way out. And so like I said, you can um, basically just stop there because it's, I mean, it's pretty black by now. That's all you need to do. Okay, and so here I just took a like a large angled blush brush, and I'm just sweeping on um, like a shimmery highlighter because I wanted the whole thing to have like a metallic look when it was finished. And now I'm going on and I'm putting on um, just different shapes and patterns of like super pigmented shimmery eyeshadows because it works better to put like a powder over the paint rather than try to mix the paint on top of the paint because then the black's gonna turn every color you try to put on top of it like muddy. It's just not easy to work with so I figured I would just do powders instead. And I had all these super bright eyeshadows laying around from when I used to wear colors like this all the time when I was in high school. So I'm just layering it up and building it up until I get it basically the way I want it to look which would be like similar to a picture from like the Hubble or something. Like super vibrant colors everywhere. Uh, just looking like a galaxy. Big gas balls and stuff like that. So that's just, you gotta layer it up until you get it the way you want it to look, you know? I wanted to cut this part out because it just goes on for way too long, but it, uh, I figured since it's a tutorial and you guys want to see how to do it, I figured I might as well leave it in. I'm just still layering and layering with different colors, um, trying to get it to look similar halfway to a galaxy picture. Um, I'm going on with red now. I think after this I do some big uh, pieces of like green and then after that some like like robin's egg blue and those colors actually came out of the next couple colors, that one and then the next color came out of a um, eyeshadow palette from 
back in the day from Too Faced, and it had like super vibrant colors, and I cannot remember what the palette was called. It was just like a little square, and it had like, I don't know, 12 or 15 or something different colors in it, and they were all really super vibrant and pretty, and I wore that palette literally every day. flashes of color everywhere. It's just kind of like painting, like if you've ever had like an art class or anything, which ironically I have not had an art class where I got to paint, but this is what it reminds me of when I see it on TV. <laughs> just, you know, you're just layering things and layering things until you get what you want, get it looking the way you think it looks okay. Um, It's kind of hard to see when you're doing it on yourself, as you can tell. I'm just, you have to just strain your neck to look down and, I don't know though. Somehow, we do it and we get there and it looks okay at the end. Somehow, I don't know how. Just keep guessing, basically. Oh, and here's my child coming to put headphones on me and ask me to dance while I'm doing a video. So, of course, who can say no to that face? talking so much now is because I'm trying to explain that I'm going to take the paintbrush and I was just gonna try to stipple it on like that uh, in the beginning and then I realized it just did not look messy enough basically so you actually have to splatter it like take it with your thumb and pull the bristles back and just splatter it across so you can see I mean you see now that the it looks like stars um, so that's the point of that After I did the splatters, or what I thought was the right amount, um, I went on, it's so, oh, beautiful, I went on and um, painted on some little, kind of like little brighter stars, I guess that would be like suns and other galaxies or whatever. And now I'm going back in into some of the, I don't know, gas galaxy, I don't know what those are, the big balls of different colors that you see in pictures of the universe, I don't know what they're called. And I was just trying to lighten the middle of them because that's generally how they look in pictures. Um, and it wasn't working very well. I'm drawing a star on my daughter now because um, she went to one too. But it wasn't working too well trying to make the inside way lighter with the eyeshadow because it was just taking too long and I was just getting frustrated with it. So I was like, well, maybe if I just paint white on the inside of here, it'll be easier. So that's what I did. And then now I just saw that spot on my neck that did not look legit at all. So I'm covering it up and just adding more color and some white. I'm trying to blend it out now because I didn't think that looked good. And I'm going over everything again with another super shimmery highlighter because I wanted it to look really metallic, like I said, at the end. And that product right there is a, it's an old Too Faced product. It was called Ice Cubes, I think, Ice Cube. I don't even think they make it anymore. They might, I don't know. But it's a highlighter, and it used to be my favorite. I had one of, like, every color that they made. And now I'm just brushing that over. That's, like, the white one. I'm brushing it over everything to give it a metallic look. And now I'm going to go back in and splatter some more white because I realized that after I painted on that ice cube uh, highlighter, it kind of erased a lot of the stars that I put on because it just was layering. And... So I'm just, and I think I do that a couple more times actually, I'm painting my stars on again because I kind of covered everything up. And now that's, well, in a second here, it'll be pretty much the end. Um, oh, except for that I forgot to do my lips, and I think I'm just about to remember that. Mm -hmm. And so um, I'm going to go back in and paint them black, but first I'm going to use my little full lips suction cup, that's what I was explaining there, about how that thing is like my favorite thing ever. It All you have to do is like, it's kind of like that Kylie Jenner lip challenge thing or whatever, except it's the proper way to do it. And um, 
you just suction it to your lips and hold it for like 30 seconds and then it makes them like poofy and pretty and cute because I have super small lips and it's unattractive so I had to invest in some of those. <laughs> Now I'm just gonna line them out with, I didn't have any black lipstick, um, I actually lost the one that I had, so I have just been using faint face paint every time that I've had to paint them black, uh, anytime recently. Obviously I don't go anywhere with it like that because I'm not gonna go out with my lips with face paint on them, but, um, I mean I guess I probably could, I don't know, but, um, just painting them black, uh, I think I hadn't decided at this point yet whether or not I wanted to do them like Galaxy or yeah that was me making up my mind to do them like Galaxy instead of just black. I couldn't decide which way I liked it better. So now I'm just doing the same thing on my lips that I did on my chest basically with the different eyeshadow colors and everything. I just keep layering them on. I think I started with like an orange-ish, that copper color. And then I went in with that green, that really pretty green. Just layering and layering and layering. And that was not that easy because your lips are, well, my lips are super small. If I was a person with normal lips, it probably might not have been that difficult, but I didn't think it, I didn't like the way the lips turned out personally. But um, I did it anyways. And now there I am trying to add some stars to it without making it. Try, trying to not make it look ridiculous. Now I'm going around the outside of my mouth because I went over the line really uh, a little bit. So I went out the outside corner of my mouth with some concealer just to blend it in so it didn't, you couldn't see the black on the outside. And now I was like, oh, maybe I'll put a star in the middle of my lip. Uh, and it ended up looking ridiculous. So I ended up having to go back and cover it up with black. See, I just, yeah. Going back in with black now. And stippling again, the stars are splashing them on. And now I'm just going back in and painting a couple more stars a little bit brighter. Um, that's the thing with these looks, you just kind of go back and forth until you get them the way you want them. There's not really a point where you get to and you're like, oh, okay, I'm done. Like, it just, you, you get it and you just keep taking steps back and looking and taking steps back and looking. And then finally, you'll get it how you want it. And um, that's it. And I'm gonna, that's basically it. I think this is the end of the look. It's finished, I took my hair down. And now, I'm just showing that it's the finished look. Close up. Galaxy chest. And that's it. So if you guys like that, then thanks for watching. Let me know what else you want to see.